righty. Guess what day it is? It's Friday. <laughs> and uh, no real major update today in HDVR since uh, we already had our April Fool's update. But there have been a couple of fixes to the weapons that Anton has given us. Uh, firstly, let me just spawn some saucies. Just to test it out, you know. Alright, good. And uh, yeah, first up is the uh, the uh, Hecate. That's what it's called. It's not Hecate, as I've been previously calling it. That is uh, pretty wrong. <laughs> There's actually three pronunciations. Uh, the English is uh, Hecate. The French one, which I'm sorry if I bother any uh, French speakers out there, because, uh, you know, I'm dirtying up your beautiful language with my uh, American tongue. But it's the Ekat, Ekat, Ekat. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say that in French. But yeah, and then there's the original Greek pronunciation, which is uh, I'm trying to remember, Hecate, Hecate. You know, like Socrates, but I don't know if Socrates is Greek. But yeah. So, anyways, yeah. I don't know. I'm going off a little tangent there, but the uh, Hecate has now added a bipod. So some people out there, last last update, were wondering if the Hecate had a bipod. It did not. It did not. I remember because I was disappointed too. But Anton has decided to add one because he is awesome. <laughs> of course, as usual, you know, the guy, is, the guy is really good. You know, he's really good at this uh, developing thing. So yeah, now we get a bipod. I mean, look at it. It's it's pretty cool, right? Now you can stick that baby on there, and then we can uh, take out some sausages at a long distance, which I can't really show you here because... Uh, wait, hold on. Nope, nope. A little bit to the left down. There we go. Oh. Did I not... Uh, safety? So yeah, now you can bipod your way to victory with the Hecate, not Hecate, all right? Don't make the same mistake I made, because a lot of people will tell you it's wrong. Okay, no one, no one really told me it was wrong, but, you know, it's just, uh, I want to be correct. That's, that's how I am. Oh, this is so good with a bipod now. I shoot you in the hip there, buddy. Am I out? No. No, I'm out. All right, cool. There's the Hecate. Again, I'm just going to leave this like this. And uh, let's move that. Oops, am I next to my wall? What's going on here? <laughs> All right, so the next little uh, thing that I found interesting about this, uh, this bug update, bug fix update, is the fact that now the Whizbanger has been fixed. All right, there are many different uh, ways this has been fixed. Let me just grab a 50 caliber around here, 50 BMG. All right, first up is that the rail on the bottom is now usable. A lot of people were jerry-rigging it or finding ways to work it. I didn't really know how to do that, but Anton has made it official. Now you can put uh, different items on the rail down here. So let me get a rail adapter. Actually, let's just try something first. Let's try a tactical laser. And now it works, as you can see. And let's pull that off. Now, you know, you can build incredible, crazy stuff with the Whizbanger, which I will demonstrate just how it works. Nice loud noise right there. Oh, let me pull the uh, shell out there. So, uh, I, you know, I mean, you can um, you can start uh, extending the whizbanger here. Put a little thing there. You want a little vertical foregrip if you wanted. You can put it on there. Let's put the most ridiculous one, the Thompson. There we go. Now we can, uh, you know, stabilize this thing. Oh, also... You can actually put a stock on this thing now. So let's uh, stick a Mauser stock on here. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. No, that's not doing Mauser stock. Um, 
Let's do something that works. Let's do the uh, TSAG. Right there. No, not quite what I wanted. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I missed. Let's do the vector stock. There we go. And you know what? I am going to add a... Wait, hold on. Tilt? Huh. I want to tilt this now. Let's... Oh, yeah, actually, I do want to tilt this because I want to build something insane with this. And then we're going to do a rail extender short. Uh, let me just uh, figure out a way to put this. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. Uh, I messed that up. I want a... Oh, no. Where is that? Uh, rail axis shift tiny? Is that what I wanted? No, that just makes it go that way. I did need that other one. Hold on. I'm going to spend a majority of this video just making, uh, just tricking this one out. So, yeah. And then I'm going to put one of these babies up here like that. And then a, oh, got to do that. And uh, actually, I think it needs to be longer. Get me a long rail extender. Oh my goodness, it's a little too long. You know what? No, that's bad. <laughs> Let's go with a short one. Sorry if this is taking a bit, but I really want to do this. All right, that's pretty good. And let's see, should I do another? Or should I just go like that? <laughs> this is going to be stupid because I need I need to hit the... <laughs> well, you know what? That's okay. We don't really need these. I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing here. The, the foregrip is fine, though. I don't know why I would need that, because... Yeah. Oh, also, I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention that this can actually uh, support suppressors now. Hold on. Wait a minute. Can it support barrel extensions? That's the question. Oh, wait. Oh, it can! <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll make this into a proper rifle. All right, I'm going to stick a barrel extension there. It just doesn't have a uh, upper something to cover that. And uh, let's get a... Oh, one of the biggest suppressors. Here we go, the Uzi. Yes, it needs that. Hold on, let me uh, screw this baby on. Now we're going to have a very nice... That's actually a little too long, I think. Yeah, it might be a little too long, but that's okay. So, we can stick a uh, bullet into the little chamber, I guess that's what you'd call it. And, uh, yeah, it's suppressed now. Which, uh... There we go. Oh, and, uh, yeah, before I forget, uh, remember now, Anton showed off this feature. You can actually shoot the little firing pin on the back with a gun now. So, oh, let me just load this. It'd be really, really awkward, but let's uh, go and see a sausage here. This guy's got a broken neck. So basically, yeah, that works. Oh. Incredibly awkward to use, but... Uh, Yeah, you can do that now. That's a thing. Although I prefer to use the hammer because it's a lot better. It. <laughs> Cut him in half. Just stick another one right there. I am going to save this into the vault because this is my pro. Oh. Put the bullet in. Hammer. Oh, I keep hitting the body. That's uh. I'm going to hit the head. There we go. Good aim. I feel like the stock actually makes it even better to aim. Although it's still hard. Oh, there we go. To actually use. Oh, 
Shot him in the body. I love this gun. <laughs> this is like an improvised weapon you'd find in uh, rot wieners or something. Oops. Except without the suppressor. I still have clown mode on, I forgot. For all you, uh, you fearful of clowns out there, I'm sorry about this, but hey, at least I'm killing them. And I don't know if the uh, barrel extensions actually make it more accurate, but that's pretty cool. You can do that now. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, the, you got a new updated Whizbanger. I think this is called the Mark II now. Let me uh, check here. Uh, nope, we're on the pistols. We're on the rifles here. Well, it says Mark II in the patch notes, so, yeah. I'm going to save this because, uh, whoops. I'm also going to add a laser. Now, just in case. I wonder if that's accurate. Let me just check this out for a minute. Oh, yep, pretty accurate. All right, so that's the Whizbanger Mark II. I'm going to save that baby. I wonder if this saves as well. All right, well, let's just stick that there. Scan this. Oh, there we go, anti-material. Now you can have two of those. But you'd need to find a hammer, which is kind of a shame, but hey, you know, whatever. It works. All right, so... I think the last uh, important update, for me at least, because I love this weapon, this next one. Let me just stick that there. Get rid of these. Is the grenade launcher now actually has a way to uh, eject the shells without breaking your arm, which is pretty cool. Let me just uh, clear this. Spawn some sausage. Oh no! Grenades everywhere. Oh, you gotta... See, the, the old method that I used to use, a lot of people used to just pull out the shells individually, which was tedious and, you know, bad. But what I used to do was to use the patented method of just ejecting the shells by violently thrusting your arm backwards. So, like that. See? Which is, uh... Ooh. Actually, hold on. Let me check out what's going on in there. Ooh. Huh. So yeah, you used to have to do this, like jerk your arm backwards if you wanted all the shells out immediately or pluck them out one by one. You don't have to do that anymore. Let me just reload this. Really sucks being left-handed, but that's okay. You know, you, you fire off all your grenade rounds. You want to you wanna eject all the shells. Well, there is now a... Oops. Move this out of the way. There is now a little thing here that can do that for you, pretty much. It's pretty cool. I love it. I mean, you know, just makes things a lot easier. Oh, got to reload. Oh, there we go. All the shells just fly out when you push the ejector rod there. Oops. Oh. You don't have to actually jerk your hand back or pull the shells out one by one. You just press this and it pushes all those babies out. Which is really nice. Kind of hard to see since this huge cylinder is blocking your view of the ejector rod, but uh, yeah, makes things a lot easier. Where's my health? Oh, it's a little low. Of course, you can still eject 
the grenade launcher like that. <laughs> but I prefer the ejection rod thingy, whatever it's called. Boop. Makes things a lot faster. A little too fast on the draw there with the uh, shells. Really sucks about being left-handed though is it's not easy to reload this thing. Well, if you're right-handed like this, you can just do that. Oh, come on, get in there. Can you still use it? Yep, you can, while holding uh, the foregrip there. Oh, you st that's still a bug right there. Oh, no. I forgot how you're supposed to do it in real life. Oh, wait a minute, it's stuck. There we go, get it back again. You're supposed to... Uh, Oh. Ugh. Why am I left-handed? This makes things a lot harder. Hold on. Ugh. <laughs> I just love playing around with this thing. I, I know, it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. I use it a lot, and um, I really like the uh, the new addition to it. You know, which makes things a lot easier without having to break my arms every time to use it. Although, I mean, still people can people have been doing this, pulling out the uh, the. Uh, Yeah, see that that's a problem right there. You can't you can't really do. Oh. Come on, there we go. So I really do appreciate that Anton added that. Just makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Hold on. So let's flip it, open it up, push out the uh, rounds. I really have to uh, now practice with this. So I can do this even faster. Open up, push out, stick in the rounds, close, grab, fire. Again, turn, push out, rounds. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Again, more practice. This is all I'm going to do for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I have to tell myself to stop because this is a short video. And I don't want to spend all 50 minutes reloading a grenade launcher over and over and over again. But this is what this game does to you. You know, you, you get into it and then you just have to play for five more hours. It's... uh shooting at nothing. <laughs> I could spawn some Sausage in here. Hold on. Let me just do one more round of reloading. Clear all the Sausage. Spawn a lot of these guys. Oops. My health is covered up by the uh, top of the door here. 3,000. Ah. 
Ah. Come on. Don't want to waste those ammunition, you know? It's bad. Right. Dead. 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 <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you can still do that, though. That's fun. Well, there you go. Those uh, There are many other uh, fixes. Stuff for, like, the Jeopard. And, um... I'm trying to remember what else was there. Uh... Oh, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, M4 with the, the new carry handle, is it carbine? M4A1 Classic with the new carry handle. What, uh, surprised me about this fix right here was the fact that now you can actually use the, where is it, magnifier scope, M1 carbine, no. Wait, no, hold on. Could have sworn it was in here somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, reflex sight? No. That's weird, hold on. Am I missing it? I think I'm missing it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, the M16. I was looking for M4 for some strange reason. Now you can use these sights on the carry handle, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a carry handle, you know? It's an attachment, so you're putting an attachment on an attachment, which is probably not how it works. It's probably a lot more simpler than that, because this is probably not a real attach. I don't know what's real or what's fake, but yeah, you can uh, you can stick uh, the little uh, magnified optic here, or you can stick on the uh, scope, which take that off. Usually for the M16, put that on there. Now you got like a little uh, sniper scope you can use on this. And uh, yeah, I still like the way this looks though. The classic M4A1 look. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, I think that might have been it for the updates. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to remember. You got the stuff with the uh, Hecate, the Whizbanger. Uh, what else did I just use the grenade launcher and some of this other stuff but you uh, if you want it more in depth you'll just have to watch Anton's video otherwise that's it for me today I'm just gonna shut this video off and continue playing this game because it is awesome and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>